Tesla will soon have its 4680 batteries coming from a new location in addition to Giga Texas and Giga Nevada because Panasonic is seeking new US sites to build a new factory for 4680 Tesla battery production. This talks about huge demand. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily short Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Panasonic is looking for a new US site to build a factory to the product for the production of 4680 Tesla battery cells that will supply batteries to the electric vehicle manufacturer. Panasonic is negotiating a new US plant to supply Tesla and possibly other electric vehicle makers next generation lithium ion batteries. Sources familiar with the matter told Bloomberg. According to them, the Japanese company is considering several sites for a multi-million dollar plant, including one in Oklahoma and another in Kansas. The new plant could start operating as early as 2024, they say. Exciting news for possibly Kansas or Oklahoma. Now, while the process is still in its early stages, the plans are bold move for Panasonic, which has promised to lead the industry again in the future. Recently, Panasonic has been slower to scale up compared to um, competing suppliers like LG Energy Solution and contemporary Amperex technology from China. Uh, LG Energy Solution is, of course, from uh, South Korea. The source said Panasonic plans to produce the newly developed larger and more powerful 4680 battery at the new US plant. The company may also install lines for the production of other types of batteries at the new facility, although this will directly depend on consumer demand. Panasonic said it plans to begin mass production of 4680 batteries in Japan in the fiscal year starting April 2023, but no further announcements have been made about the plan. Now, Kansas or Oklahoma? Which one do you think? Do you, do you remember that te Tesla wanted to build Giga Texas in Oklahoma? Now, earlier in March, Japanese negotiation uh, broadcaster NHK reported that Panasonic was looking for construction sites in Oklahoma and Kansas. These locations are relatively close to the new plan that Tesla is launching in Texas. I mean, Giga Texas in Austin. Giga Texas will produce Model Y with a structural battery pack and 4680 battery cells. According to one source, the timing and budget for Panasonic's US plant may change in the future, depending on the company's progress in producing new battery cells in Japan. Now, if, if, if they want to be very close to Giga Texas, what about the battery production at Giga Texas? Maybe not enough. I don't know. The demand, the demand for electric vehicle batteries naturally is huge. In fact, today, Northvolt announced that the company will build its third electric vehicle battery plant in the city of Heide in the north of Germany. According to Reuters, the 60 gigawatt hour plant will produce its first batteries in late 2025, one year later than Panasonic's new planned battery production, either in Oklahoma or Kansas. Northvolt signed a memorandum of understanding with the Schleswig Holstein state and the Heide region to confirm the deal. Northvolt will build at least two more battery plants in Europe in the, uh, in the coming decade. As per the company's release, the new facility will be state-of-the-art, bringing the total battery manufacturing capacity to 170 gigawatt hour for the company. Now, 170 gigawatt hour, keep in mind that Tesla's battery plant at Giga Berlin, if it reaches its full capacity, will be somewhere from 250 to 300 gigawatt hour of battery production, which uh, then Elon Musk said will be the largest in the world. But who knows, maybe by then there will be other battery companies, battery plants around the world, larger than 250 to 300 gigawatt hours, because the demand for electric vehicles is growing, especially in light of the rising gas prices. By the way, what's the gas price in your area? I live in South of Charlotte in North Carolina. Actually, my house is in the South Carolina side of the border and uh, we're paying around $4, $3.80, 3 per gallon. What about you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. And um, there was another development that I reported earlier today that Elon Musk took the US Secretary of Labor 
on tour at Giga Texas and they discussed electric vehicles and the future of electric vehicles. Well, let me know your thoughts about Panasonic's new site for production of 4680 batteries that Tesla will get new batteries in 2024 from other places like the Oklahoma or Kansas. Which one? This is Armin Haryan from TopNews.com. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up. And for daily Tesla news, God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you. Stay well, love one another. And I'll see you soon in our next report.